seriously tired of Nigeria. I'm so, so fed up. I'm, I'm beginning to regret why I moved back to Nigeria from Ghana. I moved back to Nigeria barely three months and all these things, I was thinking that all these stuff would stop. I thought all these evil things would stop last year. Last year, we heard of answers, people died and the rest, a lot of evil hearts that happened. This year too, more of it is happening. Can you just imagine the high rate of kidnapping, insecurity, crime rate? Oh man, I'm so fed up. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. My name is BK Crown and this is BK Crown Space. If you are here for the first time, you are highly welcome. And if you're returning subscribers, you are welcome and I love you all. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you've not done so. And beside it, you see the notification bell. Turn on the notification bell so that each time I upload, you'll be notified. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Your comments, your opinion, your observation is is needed in the comment box and please share in today's video i'm going to be ranting a lot i'm just fed up of nigeria this country is is not moving i don't know we are not moving forward it's like too much of bad acts is happening in this country i'm going to be giving you some instances and the things that i don't like about nigeria i am fed up of this country barely three months I moved to nigeria from ghana i just I'm just tired of hearing bad news. This person kidnapped this, this person killed this, this and that. It's, it's, it's annoying. Okay, let me go straight to the point. Number one thing that is making me so, so tired of Nigeria is the high rate of kidnapping. I'm not saying that they don't kidnap in other countries, but it's as if in Nigeria, the rate at which kidnapping is occurring is too much. It's, it's, it's saddening. I don't know what the future of Nigeria is going to be because way the old things are and our leaders are not even helping matters it's our leaders that is making things worse because you are not eating to a cry youths are jobless there's nothing working well for this country but the leaders are not doing anything the kidnapping started december 2020 whereas they went to kidnap some school boys in one of the northern part of nigeria after some days they they released the school boys but i heard of another one recently they kidnapped some school girls in a boarding school in zafara state and over 300 girls were kidnapped the name of the school is government girls secondary school they kidnapped over 300 girls there was an eyewitness that said that she saw the gunmen walking into the school and they carried a lot of girls they were shooting in the air and everything I don't know what this country is turning into. I'm, I'm serious. I, I, I'm a Nigerian, but I prefer Ghana to Nigeria. I did a video last week talking about what I dislike about Ghana. Well, you guys don't take it to heart because I'm just giving my own opinion, what I experience and what I observe in Ghana. That's what I used to do that video. Since I made a video of what I love about Ghana, I decided to make a video of what I dislike about Ghana. But the rate at which I love Ghana is more than Nigeria. Nigeria is nothing to write home about. During the lockdowns in Ghana, the government gave us free water. Food. They reduced the tariff of the light bill. But in Nigeria, nothing happened. During that lockdown, the government did not help, help out. It was later during the SARS when they were fighting over inside inside later on so people went to locate some palettes in some places palettes that are supposed to distribute to 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 citizens during that lockdown period they did not distribute it they kept it in one store but thank god some of the citizens saw these palettes and most of them took it to their house so that's the number one thing i hate about nigeria and the number two thing I want to talk about is, is insecurity. The insecurity in this country is unbearable. God, Nigeria is not safe. You can't even move about again. You can't even travel. There's nothing you can do. I'm sure you guys have heard about Ensmen. Ensmen are those farmers that sell livestock, livestock like cattle, sheep, and the rest. I heard that 
in the Muslim as men are fighting over the Christian. I don't know why all this fight and everything is mostly happening in North. There was one story I read on the social media. One pastor was traveling, one CAC pastor. He was traveling with some group of people in the car, and the man is also a lecturer of one of the universities in Nigeria. And the S men stopped them on the road, started firing their guns, started shooting, and most of the bullets hit the, uh, the pastor and the driver. But the driver was able to escape it. Unfortunately, the pastor died. He gave up. It's so painful. Just to even travel now is not safe. Nobody is safe in Nigeria anymore. I really cry for Nigeria because I don't know what both this country is turning into. The number of people that are dying every day, every day in Nigeria is 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 very, 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 very. I don't even know what to say. I'm short of words because this is so painful. It's so painful. A lot of times that people will travel, this air smell will attack them, kill them and everything. Another insecurity is that you can't move about in Nigeria after 6 p.m. Nigeria is not safe. It's not safe. Even though you want to go out in the morning, you go out in the morning, maybe around 6 a.m. or maybe from 7. By the time you come back from work, you have to come back very early. As a lady, you can't stay outside for a long time. Me, self, I can't try. The, the way I can work freely in Ghana, I can't do that in my country, Nigeria. I can never do that. Anywhere I go to, I must be back before 6. Sometimes I come back by 5 because I know how my country is. It's not safe. Let me also give you an instance of what happened. Nigeria is not safe. There's something that really happened recently in Ibadan, where I'm living. I'm living in Ibadan, so something serious happened right here in Ibadan. I heard the story that um, Shasha Market, that a wheelbarrow was just pushing his goods, then he mistakenly eat a Yoruba man. A Yoruba, I'm, I'm a Yoruba girl, so he mistakenly, an Aousa man mistakenly eat the Yoruba man. I'm sure that the man did not say sorry. So from then they started arguing and crying that why did you eat me with the Yoruba barrel blah 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 blah. Then why they were quarreling? Do you know what happened? Jesus Christ. Why they were quarreling? The man died. The Yoruba man died. The Aousa man killed the Yoruba man. And instantly there was a war between the Aousa and the Yoruba. The Yoruba revenge against Aousas because of that one man that died. And before you knew it, they started fighting. And Shasha Market, they sell, mostly sell perishable goods. Perishable goods like pepper, onions, um, tomatoes, you know. So they destroyed so many shops, you know. They messed everywhere up. They started fighting against each other. The Aousa and the Yoruba started fighting. The Yoruba waged war against the Aousa because of the way that man killed the Yoruba man. Then I shall add that the, the chairman of the trade union said that 10 people died, more than 100 people got injured at the market, and shops and houses got burnt. Oh my god! And this thing I'm talking about happened February 12, 2021, in Ibadan, where I'm staying. Because of the fight, perishable goods are not expensive uh, perishable goods like pepper and askas because during the fight they destroy so many things in at the market so now because of the old fight and because of the scarcity of perishable goods there's not an increment in the pepper that we buy pepper is not expensive onions are expensive tomatoes are not expensive what is this country turning into I'm so tired, just barely three months. I got to Nigeria December, a few days before Christmas, and I've been here since December. I was here when I heard the news of the school boys they kidnapped. It's frustrating. There's nothing working. There's nothing, absolutely nothing working in this country. Should I talk about crime rates? Crime rates, I'll give you an, a story I read a few weeks back. A lady, a makeup artist, uh, a friend of hers told her that he has a job for her, that she, she was going to travel to a particular state to go and work. Yeah, 
that someone wants to do makeup for a ceremony. So when she got there, she noticed that the person that came to pick her up was behaving strange because she was the only one in the taxi. And the way they were doing to her, she was asking her, like, where is the location? Where is the location? They were not answering her. They were giving her some kind of attitude. Then along the line, she started testing her, at her brother that something is really strange that she's at this so 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 place so but she don't know exact place she is but she's at so 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 state then since then the the boy that she has been worried about her all of a sudden the lady disappeared her parents did not find her her brother did not find her and later on a few weeks later we now heard that the lady was found i think somewhere at the roadside with acid all over her body the lady was later found dead and they tried to locate her friend. Immediately, the, the police located her friend and they arrested her. She now confessed that she was the one that killed the girl, her friend, her close friend, that she and her brother killed her. And she said the reason why she killed her was because she thought her friend was having an affair with that guy. What? Even though your friend is having an affair with your guy, does he have to go to the extent of you killing, killing your? Ah, how can a fellow woman kill her own fellow woman? It's wrong. No matter what, even though the story was true, what is there in your boyfriend? What's there in your girlfriend? There's some things that there's no big deal in it. The worst thing you can do, you can get angry with that. What to say instead of you killing her? Why will you kill a person because you are thinking the person was having an affair with your guy? Then later on, she later realized that it was a rumor, that it was a false rumor. Now the lady in question died. If you see the way the mother was shedding tears, when I saw the clip where she went to the police station to see her late daughter's friend and the brother. She the laid course on them. It's too much. This country. Should I even talk about high rates of unemployment in this country? There are lots of people that came out with first class. There are lots of people that did well in school. No jobs. If you don't have connection in Nigeria, you can't get a good job. Everybody is not their own CEO. Everybody is learning trade. Everybody is making ends meet from what they've learned. It's trade that is bringing money now. Sometimes I always say that school is a scam. Because you can't go to school, spend a lot of millions, and come out with no job. As I will keep saying that Ghana is better. Because Ghana, at least the rate of unemployment, is low compared to nigeria nigeria there's no employment though a lot of youths are jobless that is why they are kidnapping people people are stealing arm robbers are raiding a lot of bad things are happening people are killing each other and everything that is it the rate of unemployment is too much that is that even most most students now when they finish from university all of them want to go and serve because you know that at least that small small salary they will give them they use it to save and start a new life while some people they go for service because of the uniform some people they go to service thinking that when they come back come out of the youth service when they finish by the time they they, they are through with their youth service they will get a job instantly but there are a lot of ex youth coppers that are still jobless people are jobless everybody is trying to become their own CEO everybody is learning a trade it's so saddening when I left Nigeria, nothing was working. Now that I'm back to Nigeria, it has become worse. What is it? This is too much. <sighs> it's too much. It's too much. I can't even talk about everything. Should I talk about bad roads? Roads are bad. What, what else? What else? We are all going through a lot. Nigerians are going through a lot too. Ha, even when you are walking in the streets of Nigeria, you'll be scared when you are walking. Yesterday I was just crossing the road. So as I was crossing, the road was already clear. All of a sudden, I just heard one Okada man say, Bell, carry your leg, jaw, leave that road, jaw. Hey, he remains small. That Okada man bike would have touched me. Why is that everything about Nigeria is fear, fear, fear? You want to go to work, you go to work with, with little fear. You want to cross the road, you'll be scared. Just barely three months, I moved back to Nigeria from Ghana. Now, so, so, so bad, 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 bad news for this country. Now, so, so, so bad news. Always bad news. 
you hardly hear of good news. You hardly hear that ah, the press, the government want to do this, do this. Everything this person died, this person was kidnapped. If I keep talking, I can't end this discussion because there are a lot of a lot of things I hate about Nigeria. A lot and Ghana is far far better than Nigeria. I will say it again. Ghana is far 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 better than Nigeria. Things are happening. It's only God. God that is saving everybody. Everybody. It's only God though. It's not for God. Ha. Ha. <sighs> Guys, that's all I have to say. These are the important things I can talk about. There are a lot of things that are going on in Nigeria. Lots of bad things going on in Nigeria. There are a lot of things I hate about Nigeria. But these are the few things I can talk about. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. And beside it, you see the notification bell. Click on the notification bell so each time I upload, you'll be notified. Spread the video every Friday. Every Friday on this channel. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please, 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 please and please kindly share this video. Your comment, your opinion is needed in the comment box. Thank you all for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Keep watching Pick a Crown Space. Till next time, stay blessed. Bye.